Hi, it's Dwyer. RichardDwyer.com. KeepingItFree.blogspot.com. GamblersAdvisory.com. Let's talk about an example of a crime show that went off the rails that possibly gave viewers the wrong impression. From time to time here online I'll talk about controversial cases where there are two camps. There are the people who strongly believe that the accused is innocent and there are those that believe that the accused is guilty. Right? Let's name three such cases. Stephen Avery, Amanda Knox, Adnan Syed. And from time to time, people will contact me privately or they will leave a comment in the comment section. And they'll just say something like, Dwyer, you're full of it. You know, I watch this show or I heard these facts that quite frankly are erroneous. Right? Don't fall in love with a crime show production. What I want everyone here online to do with regard to my videos, with regard to these great shows out there, 48 Hours, etc. What I want people to do is to actually just Google trial transcripts. Look at a host of articles. See what was presented in court as evidence. Reach conclusions for yourself. Don't get fooled by conclusory language in a well-produced network production. So the purpose of this video, without getting into the very graphic, too graphic for YouTube, facts of a child molestation and murder case, right? The purpose of this video is to just direct those of you who want to look at a Dateline episode right hosted by Keith Morrison someone who I hold in very high regard that in my opinion left the wrong impression and omitted some crucial facts right from the audience it's the episode that originally aired on July 9th 2010 it's a Dateline episode entitled the mystery in Rock Hill. Again, the mystery in Rock Hill. You can Google it. It will pop up online. You'll see references to it. I believe some people may have actually uploaded it to YouTube. The accused in the case is a father named Billy Wayne Cope. Right? I encourage everyone to watch the episode first. Right? Watch the episode, see the presentation. In my opinion, there's a bias in the episode that's unfounded. Right? Where someone at Dateline, maybe Keith Morrison himself, in attempting to portray this case even-handedly perhaps gave the impression that the defendant might have been railroaded by the criminal justice system. Now this is a case in which the accused Billy Wayne Cope confessed four times to victimizing his daughter. Four times. This is also a case involving a 911 call that is noteworthy. So, this case has something special going for it. Believe it or not, the episode was so 
unbalanced to some that the solicitor for the 16th Judicial Circuit in South Carolina decided in response to the Dateline episode that they would actually create their own website giving the prosecution's theory of the case. So what you have here is a Dateline episode followed by a prosecution website that says here is the evidence unvarnished. Here is the evidence without Dateline spin. Right? You tell us what you think. Now that prosecution website can be found at BillyWayneCope.com Again, BillyWayneCope.com This website actually contains some of Mr. Cope's confessions. It contains the 911 call. It contains video. It is not for the faint of heart, given the horrific subject matter. What I think many people are going to conclude, quite frankly, is that Dateline slickly produced, let's face it too, they have to make editorial decisions. I'm sure they had a lot of film that didn't make it on the air but the impression left by Dateline really doesn't line up with the evidence. Someone seeing the Dateline show and the tone of the presentation might be left with a different conclusion than they would have if they actually saw the evidence as it's presented on the prosecution website. So before you reach conclusions about the guilt or innocence of Billy Wayne Cope, right, and I'm not going to give away the verdict here, what I hope you do is go beyond Dateline. Go beyond the prosecution's website and just look up some additional information on the case. Reach your own conclusion after you investigate this case a little bit. Revisit the Dateline episode. They spend a lot of time talking with Billy Wayne Cope's attorneys. You could imagine what they think. They spend a lot of time talking to Billy Wayne Cope. <laughs> right? You can imagine which side of the story you're hearing about. Keith Marvison has some concerns. Right? About the way the evidence has been presented. Because, again, without giving too much away, there's a second defendant at the trial. They even show you portions of the trial, right? The closing statement, in fact, part of the opening statement by the prosecution. Morrison critiques some of the points being raised, right? As I've said, don't fall in love with the production of crime shows, right? Sometimes the people who make the show are too invested in their version of the facts and can't take a step back even in a case involving four confessions can't take a step back and just think about the fact that perhaps the defense attorneys are being duped by a calculated accused defendant. 
Again, the case is Billy Wayne Cope. The Dateline episode from July the 9th, 2010. It's an older one. Is the mystery in Rock Hill. Right? The host is Keith Morrison. One of the better people, quite frankly, on Dateline. I've watched, full disclosure, I've watched some Dateline episodes done by Keith Morrison, where I thought to myself, wow, you know, let me look into this case. Something's not quite right. Dateline has opened the door for me, uh, conscious-wise, on some of these criminal matters. Right? But let me just say here, right, the fact that the prosecutor, or rather the solicitor for the 16th Judicial Circuit, felt a need to actually put the confessions online in response to Dateline gives viewers like you and me the rare opportunity after watching a Dateline episode to go look at the actual evidence and to see if we feel the same way after looking at the actual evidence that we did at the end of watching Dateline. Let me know what you think in the comment section of this video after you've looked at the episode and after you have looked at the prosecution's website. Again, the episode is The Mystery in Rock Hill. It's a Dateline episode. The prosecution website, the state's website, is BillyWayneCope.com. Thanks for stopping by.